Hello, Damon Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at using an Ethernet cable to power and send data to a iOS device, be it an iPad or an iPhone. We actually have a Belkin lightning adapter that allows Ethernet and power to be used from a actual Ethernet cable to power a phone. Let's take a look and see why you would even want to do this and what the benefits are. So, first of all, we've got the, uh, the cable. Let's uh, unbox it, have a look at what we've got. Okay, so you can see in the box, it's an ethernet power adapter with a lightning connector. And we've got this uh, PoE, which is power over ethernet. Taking a look at the back of the box, we can see we can uh, connect to a secure network and power up simultaneously. So I think uh, part of the secret there is a secure network. Let's uh, open the box. And so we can see inside the box, we've got the adapter. And if we tip that out, you can see this is held in place by a plastic retaining clip, which we can remove. And remove this clip and the uh, plastic uh, cover. So here we actually have the adapter. You can see we've got the lightning connector, the Vulcan M. Uh, box and here we've got ethernet and another lightning pass through okay let's uh, plug this into the phone so now we've got this connected to the phone there's actually a belkin connect tab it's not required but we can actually use the belkin connect tab to check the firmware level on the device and find out more information so we can see this is actually connected and if i um, go into settings under ethernet then we can see we've got the Belkin adapter. So let me first of all connect the Ethernet. So let's plug this in. We should see the uh, device straight away. The phone's now started charging. You now we've been given an IP address on the network automatically. Now, one of the nice things we can do with this is actually turn off all of the devices. We can actually place the device into um, airplane mode. And whilst actually having the device in airplane mode, we've still got internet connectivity. So this is obviously very useful if you're in a secure environment where you're not allowed to use any transmissions, um, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And um, by having a physical cable, um, makes this a lot more secure. So as we can see, cable's connected. We've got data. Let's have a look and see how this actually performs. So what I'm gonna do is do two tests. One, I'm gonna do some ping tests. So first of all, we'll launch the ping tool. So we can see here, I'm pinging just straight through to the router. And we can see that our, our ping time here is uh, well under um, one millisecond. And we can see we can, ping times here are sort of under about half a millisecond. So we can see the ping's very good and there's no packet loss. If you're interested in more about why you would use Ethernet with a phone and network performance versus Wi-Fi. I've got a whole video on that, which I'll leave a link to. Next thing we're going to do is actually run iPerf. Uh, iPerf will actually use the full bandwidth. So what we can now do is actually test the bandwidth we can get across the Ethernet cable back to a computer. And we will launch the iPerf frame with server mode. And we'll let this run. So this computer is now listening. If I now press start on the phone and start, and we can see now we are getting an average of 214, 215. Let this run for a few minutes. So we can see we're getting about 220 uh, megabits per second. Okay, so we've seen with the actual adapter that we're getting power and data and we're getting really good latency. Let's just do a comparison quickly with uh, Wi-Fi. So if I unplug the uh, cable and I'll just take airplane mode off and reconnect the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now we're now on Wi-Fi and I will now run the same Wi-Fi test. So we can see with the Wi-Fi, we're actually getting over double the performance of the Ethernet cable. 
And we'll just rerun the ping now. And what we notice with the ping here is that the average ping time is still two, two and a half milliseconds. So you can see with the Wi-Fi, we've got a lot more latency. So what are the main benefits in using an adapter like this to actually power and provide data to your uh, phone or iPad? If you're in a secure environment, obviously you can switch off all of the transmissions on the device and use the ethernet cable and the power all down a single cable to power that whole device. So where would you actually want to use this? I can think of several applications. One would be in a retail environment when you're in a shop, something like that, where you're using an iPad as a till for a point of sales. Having a single cable running to that device that both powers the device and transmits the data in a reliable fashion is obviously of benefit. The other would be in a home automation application whereby you would have um, maybe an iPad mounted on a wall or a phone and you can have a single lightning cable connected to this to again provide the data in a reliable way along with power. The other is how we use it here in the studio to power the iPad as part of a teleprompter system and that allows us to basically connect through and share data to there as well in a secure way. Thank you, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please consider liking or subscribing to the channel. I'm sure so I have some other suggested videos. Please feel free to watch one. Thank you.